first part of the model is to um, get the base or the sub base I should say just um, leveled off on the bottom here um, I don't know what it's like yeah we've got a little bit of a little bit of a wobble in there um, and then of course I want to uh, check the dimensions off um, knowing the uh, the Hem Hemingway kits I'm guessing they're not going to be anywhere near most likely they're going to be too small but I don't think that matters that much um, 7 and 3 8 well actually that's very slightly over there yeah, very slightly over so there is a little bit of room but that that this dimension round here is not important because that just fits down to the base which you can roughly measure with that we got two and seven eighths just over two and three quarters there so we have got a little bit on that surface to play with Anyway, what I'm going to do is get that so it sits flat anyway, because it's going to be it'll be mounted eventually on, on, on some sort of box, most likely to house the uh, ignition um, bits and pieces. So I'll just get that um, cleaned up so it doesn't uh, rock about. enough right I've got the uh, sub base trued up and we come to the more interesting part which is the main bed um, got to face these off at 30 degrees um, but also the bearing caps have also got to be machined because let me try and show you um, there is a reason for this I can find it. Here's the reason. Um, yep. Here's the reason. It's got to be one inch and three eighths to the center of the crankshaft and through the center of the bore for the um, cylinder. So, what I've got to do is get this base machined, get these caps machine first before I can set this up to get these exact dimensions because these two dimensions this bore through there and the bore through the bearings will all have to be done in, in one operation or certainly in one repeatable operation so I'm going to have to work on a bit of a setup for that um, but we'll, we'll get to that eventually so I think the first thing I'm going to do is to machine the base off and then I'll machine these faces to get those matching and then I'll uh, just fettle it up a bit it's, uh, it's a bit rough around here and uh, the castings are not very good but then they never are are they no matter where you get them from hmm. not very good that surface I'm afraid not as good as I would have liked. What I'm going to do is uh, just um, face off this uh, casting. Um, it's, it's a bit fatter that end than it is that end. So I'm going to get it to the minimum point, which I think is this corner. And I'm just going to face it off, clean it up um, so they're fairly uniform and then eventually I will um, split them. I mean that, that split line is not really centre but uh, I'll work that out in a little while but all I'm going to do at the moment is just get this faced off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to face these off as well and then I'm going to fit the caps, bolt the caps on 
prior to marking and um, boring them out. So anyway, I'll get this just faced up, just dusted up first. <laughs> thing I want to do is um, machine this piece up. Now unfortunately it, it's already down to dimension on that side um, of an inch and a quarter which means I can't machine out these casting marks so I'm sort of pretty stuck with them. Um, I might be able to fill them in later on um, if they bother me before I paint it. Um, so anyway what I'm going to do is get this piece down to dimension and then split it so I've then got the uh, the two bearing caps. Um, so first job, just square this up a little bit where I can, where I've got enough room left to, to mill some off and uh, then drill out the holes so I can fix it down to the base plate. enough. All I wanted to do is just clean it up so I know I've got some proper datum lines to work to so what I can do now is um, split it off. minimal to take off that side so I'll be careful that I don't overshoot. Five twenty-three, just a fraction more to go. zero the DRO now, put a stop on. Right, what I've done is um, zeroed the DRO, so we just swap these over now. Got that one in that end, this one in that end, and then when I'm down to zero on the DRO, I know this one will be correct. There are two bearing caps. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a light skim across the top of these surfaces um, and then I can get them drilled out ready for the uh, bolts to bolt them on. Anyway, I've just got the holes to drill in here and then they'll be ready to mount onto the base once I get these surfaces machined off. Alright what I'm going to do I'm going to indicate off of the back jaw and off of this face so I can set up then for the uh, bolt holes. Right I've got that position now so what I'm going to do is put a stop on it if I put a stop on there, I've got the table locked down on the uh, X and Y dimensions. So now all I've got to do is just slide them in 
and drill the holes. But now, because it's already set up, all I've got to do is just flip it round. Slide it up to the stop and away we go. Something doesn't look right there. Something's gone wrong. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Something's gone wrong. Somehow. I haven't come across 250. Well I have come across 250. No I haven't. So what happened there then? All right, I'll bring you back when I've worked out what I've done wrong. Right, what I've done wrong is because I haven't used the, uh, I haven't been doing anything for a while, and just before I sort of stopped doing anything, I, I swapped, um, I swapped these edge finders. So that one is is a four millimeter tip, and this one is a six millimeter tip, and just got a total blank and um, what I did was set the center of this at two millimeters instead of three millimeters which means this hole now is one millimeter out um, but I don't know um, so yeah I have to fix that. I might be able to do something with that one. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I know I know where the error is now. Anyway, so I'll just move it forward a millimeter and see what I can come up with. It's a bit frustrating. It's just, it's just that I haven't um, been doing anything for such a long while, and I I forgot that um, that new edge finder is six mil and not four mil. But anyway. Right, I'm going to have to make something up to go in there and fill that hole up. I'll bring you back when I'm doing that. I'm going to turn a little, this is sort of cast aluminium, um, I'm going to turn a little pin and uh, use it to fill the hole and then drill another one alongside it and hopefully once it's bolted in it'll stop the fill from coming out. So let's get that done. going to do now is put this in the vise and squash it down. Right, what I've done now is plug the hole, so I'm going to go back over to the mill and re-drill it in the right place. Right, drill that out, see what happens. There we go, that's uh, rescued the part, that little infill won't go anywhere once that's bolted down, no one will ever know it's there, well apart from anyone who watches this video. If that doesn't cover then I might make just a little insert for there, but anyway, that's that part rescued. Right, the next part of the project is to um, mill these faces at 30 degrees, um, which is fairly straightforward. I'll just set it up on a 30 degree angle block 
this little piece on the casting has been left in um, it's going to be cut off eventually but it's there so that um, it takes up the clamping forces otherwise it would be difficult to clamp these yeah, these are showing as half an inch on the drawing um, showing an inch and three quarters between them so there will be some to machine off these faces but I don't really know how much That's, those faces are probably better machined with this laying flat so what I'm going to do is just machine these surfaces first um, I'm not going to take too much off of them um, just clean them up I'm not going to be able to machine all this bad casting away because I'd have to be right down to here so I think I'm going to leave it there I've got enough coverage for the bolts for it to sit down properly so yeah I'm going to leave it there I think that's, uh, that's going to be it for those yep good alright that's where we're at with this one um, got the uh, bearing caps machined up now in the next operation I'm going to face off these two sides get the bearing caps drilled and fixed on there and then we'll set this up in some kind of fixture for drilling out the uh, holes there for the crankshaft or the bearings and then the hole through there for the uh, piston liner to come through that's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.